Okay, sorry, what's your airspeed? 110. November 29, Juliet, Roger. I'd Yankee Papa, did you just call ready to go? Uh, I did not, but I was just about to. We are ready to go to the west. Like I said, loiter just for a bit over a neighborhood and then continue west. November 4, Yankee Papa, runway 18, clear for takeoff, westbound. Clear for takeoff, 18, westbound, 234, Yankee Papa. November 29, Julia, your traffic is ahead and to your left about 10 o'clock, one mile to Malibu at... Uh, All right, so you're going to have to getting its altitude tell me where the neighborhood is and no okay. talking while we take off. November 2 and Julia, thanks for your help. Follow him to the airport and you're clear to land runway 18 number 2. Clear to land 18 number 2, 1529, Julia. November 6, Lima Charlie, light sport departing runway 18, heavy westbound, cleared for the option. Okay, cleared for the option. We're anticipating a uh, full stop landing with a taxi right. back somewhere. Now we're okay. set, speed clear alive. Land. Clear to land, thanks. So uh, that construction is the front of my neighborhood. So I can actually see my neighbor's house, and I can actually see my backyard. There it is, right at two o'clock.
right, I'll slow down a little bit. Backyard right there. November 296, Lima Charlie, Charlie, you going back to runway 18? Yes, sir. We could accept the 3-6 takeoff if your traffic allows. Yeah, there it is. On this and whatever's best for you. Awesome. Uh, probably won't. Uh, there's two oh, it's actually right, it's right there. Inbound right okay. now. Yeah, I see it. Awesome. Pattern. I'm going to come around this to, uh, construction. Golf, Lima, Alpha to runway 18 and cross Drop this wing right. so you can Golf, Lima, Alpha, uh, to date a little bit better. For Lima, Charlie, thanks. November 1A Lima Whiskey, you can turn westbound now and look for that traffic to follow. It's uh, That's awesome. directly. Okay, you ready? I'm, I'm ready. This good? Am I fast enough when we come around? Down, you're, you're far enough. My old neighborhood right there. Look at the traffic. Uh, 1A Lima Whiskey. November 6, Charlie Papa, the traffic you're following is over the tree line now. Cleared to land, correction, cleared uh, touch and go, runway 18 with a missed approach. There's Donham's backyard. Cleared for the missed on 18 for 6, Charlie Papa. And so on 18 Lima Whiskey, uh, not sure if you caught it, we got the traffic in sight. All right, November 1, let's get out of here. There's a lot of people trying to land. Yeah, yeah I didn't realize how close right. that was. It's really close. Yeah. We got the uh, traffic in it's beautiful up here. Oh man, isn't it nice? Look at this, just look around. I mean, this I know. Is, it's isn't awesome. this ridiculous? It's awesome. This canopy. I was pulling in and I was taxiing and uh, the controller's like, hey, what kind of plane is that? Because <laughs> um, I, it's a Sting, S-T-I-N-G, S3 is the make and model, but nobody knows what the hell that is. N none of these air traffic controllers. So I always, when I'm talking air traffic control, I always say light sport, because they know what the category, light sport. So I say light sport, 234 Yankee Papa. And uh, so they know I'm a small, slow plane. But I was taxiing, and he asked me, so I told him what it was. He goes, man, that's nice. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. I said, I love my, the visibility. He's like, yeah, you're sitting on top of the world. Yeah. And uh, November 234 Yankee Papa, frequency change proof. See you next time. Frequency change approved for 234 Yankee Papa. See you on the way back. That's probably what, like... I was just looking like, on the map. That Lakeway area? Yep. Exactly. You want to fly a little bit? Uh... Sure. We won't crash, don't worry. <laughs> so, um, autopilot oh, off. Oh, so now oh. I have... I mean, it basically... Let me just trim it. It basically wants to just fly itself. So we're at 4,500, so we want to just keep altitude. So turning, it's literally finger, it's finger pressure. Okay. And that's it. And then it turns. And then sometimes you have to put a little opposite in. Like if you go, if you turn too steep, it just wants to keep going. So you give a little bit, of, but you won't be turning that steep. No. That's it. I mean, it's just real simple. I'll do all the rudder stuff. Okay and throttle. Uh, so why don't you take us over to that, those lakes. And then get the sight picture for level. Okay. And that's really what you do. And then we'll kind of correlate your sight picture with us staying at 45. So we're, we're slight, we're climbing slightly. Oh, uh, oh shoot. Oh, okay. So easy, I mean how... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry sensitive. about that. No, no, that's nothing. So there's your, there's your altitude there. Wow, it is super responsive. Yeah. So that's a gentle de descent, right? You, yeah. Can you kind of feel that maybe, or see? I can, yeah. A little bit down. And you'll start, if we start going down fast, you'll start to hear the engine. It'll, RPMs will go up, and you'll know that you're in a, in a dive. Okay, so we're at 4650 or so? Yeah. And the wind's got us here. Yeah, see, so the wind's going to push us a little bit. That's fine. Uh, yeah, I could. I was like providing a little bit of counter. Yep. To the wind. I didn't realize this would do both uh, climbing and left and right. What the uh, the joystick? Oh yeah. So the left right is ailerons. Those things out on the on the wing. That's your, this way. Okay. That's your roll. Your pedals do the rudder, which give you yaw. Okay. 
and then push forward and back his pitch. Now I could turn the nose, watch, just keep it straight. I'm gonna put left rudder in. Oh, wow, 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 that was awesome. Yeah, I could turn the nose. Now right rudder. But we don't want to do that. <laughs> so now I center, there's a little ball here. Yep, watch when I do the rudder, it moves. Oh, uh, yeah. So you want to keep that centered all the time. That means you're coordinated. It means you're, you're flying um, with all the control services in the proper direction. Okay. Is that you or the wind? That's you. I feel like I'm trying to go the other way. I got, I got my rudder centered. Okay. So everything is you now. You got us right at 4,500, good. We're still in a slight descent, so just a touch back. That'll keep us at 45. Skylock Harry, traffic serious. If you look to your left, you can see Austin. Oh yeah. A little bit hazy right around here because of this fire. We're going, okay, there we go. Now, do you feel like we kind of went up a little bit? Yes. Yeah. See this bar? Yep. That's your vertical speed indicator. So that, if it's above, that means you're going up. Okay. So that wants, you want that dead center, that means you're level flight. It takes a while to... Yeah, there's a, just a lot of the sensory input. Yeah. And really, the, the main thing is sight picture. Like, you don't want to fly by staring down at the gauges. Right, right, right. It's 90% outside looking, sight picture. I know what my nose looks like on the horizon to give me level flight. Then I check my instruments, make sure everything's good, then I look back up. That's really good right now, so that's a good level flight. Chugging along at 100, 112 knots, which is a pretty good speed. Awesome picture. 